Uganda's tourism industry, which contributes significantly to its economy and 2.7 trillion shillings in revenue in 2022, representing 12.2% of all exports and 41.4% of service exports. The Great Biodiversity is under the protection of Uganda Revenue Authority, which has played a crucial role in preserving and promoting this natural resource. In terms of performance, number of visitors has continuously risen to 44%. They ranged from 130,000 812 in fiscal year 2020 21 to 265,539 in financial year 2021 2022 to 382 285 in fiscal year 2022 2023. They have steadily labored to safeguard crucial habitants and promote ecotourism despite several challenges they face. We have had uh, several cases where unregistered two operators. First of all, we don't know them. Uganda Tourism Board doesn't know them. Any of the associations don't know them. So they come, they advertise, they get visitors here, they pick the money for maybe even two weeks, and they get the visitor arrive here, put them in a car and abandon them in Maction Falls in Buindi. They abandon them, sometimes they haven't paid for the permits, they haven't paid for entrance, they, they have no accommodation, and it is bad for the country because then uh, the potential visitors, when they hear about this, they say, mm -mm, don't go to Uganda because you will be fleeced. Just a few months ago, we were in a very big dilemma where we had lost more than half of our funding because of the tourism sector. And there is no entity that would have run this financial year without that funding. There is none. We would not have paid staff. We could not have done the same. There would be no development. There would be nothing uh, at this financial year because we have been cut from 100 and almost 90 billion to around 89 billion. We cut of around 100 billion. So it was a big challenge. But OA is considering implementing many strategies to address these challenges, one of which entails increasing booking proportion from 30% to 50%. This change is intended to lessen the problem of certain speculators who reserve permits without making a sincere commitment, weakening gravity of the current booking requirement. The idea of raising the 30% is to reduce the speculators so that we get more serious business people who book because they know they will sell this permit. That means we will free up more permits to actually be utilized because right now, yes, we get the 30% because um, somebody paid 30% but failed to come. But should we not be getting 100%? We should. So that, that's why we are telling the two operators, look, we need to raise this, make it harder for the speculators so that we get serious business. Nevertheless, this suggestion is not well received by tour operators who are worried about the possible harm it could do to their operations. It is some people have not recovered. And it is sad that instead of trying to help them to recover, we are now asking for 55. Even the 30 was difficult. It will be really unfair, assume that the business community is faring well at this moment. Tourism is very sensitive uh, to anything that scares people's lives. So waking up and start changing tariffs. Instead of they are assuming that things have become normal, we're going back to 2018, 19 now. They need to realize it will be very good to bring changes for developing our country, but we should be sensitive to the business, which requires Continuous Uganda Wildlife Authority's unwavering commitment to preserving biodiversity and promoting sustainable practices is commendable. Still, it is vital that adequate resources, both financial and technical, be allocated to support their mission effectively. Bronya Katsime, Smart24 TV, Business Today.